Thief of my heart. In a futuristic world, Maya was a brilliant thief, a self-styled Robin Hood with a flair for the dramatic. Her target was never money but priceless artifacts, which she believed should be returned to their rightful owners. Her current goal? Stealing a rare, century-old painting from the prestigious Global Museum of Cultural History, an object that belonged to her ancestors before it was forcibly taken. Her only companion was an AI-enhanced drone named X-1, a small, metallic orb that hovered beside her, serving as both her conscience and assistant. X-1 was designed by her late mother, a legendary scientist. Despite X-1's constant warnings, Maya couldn't resist the thrill of the heist. Maya's fingers danced across her keyboard as she reviewed the museum's security protocols for the hundredth time. No one's going to miss it except the thieves who stole it in the first place, she muttered to herself, her grey-blue eyes scanning for any weaknesses in the system. You've been obsessing over this job for months, Maya. It's getting personal, X1's soft, mechanical voice hummed from her side. Maya smirked, not breaking her concentration. Personal? No way. I just hate seeing what belongs to my family locked away behind glass. Right. Not personal at all, X1 responded with dry sarcasm. What's your plan for when Layla finds out? Layla. Maya's chest tightened at the thought of her. Layla wasn't just anyone, she was the museum's lead curator, a beautiful woman with striking dark hair and a mind sharper than anyone Maya had ever known. They had met when Maya had first scouted the museum, under a different identity. Sparks had flown instantly, but Maya kept her distance, knowing that her life of crime wouldn't mix well with Layla's dedication to preserving history. Layla's voice, steady yet soft, haunted her thoughts. She hadn't planned to fall for the curator. She hadn't planned for any of this. I don't know, Maya admitted running a hand through her short, tousled hair. Maybe I won't have to tell her. Sure, because secrets always stay hidden, X1 replied. Later that evening, Maya infiltrated the museum under the cover of darkness. Her holographic disguise helped her blend into the night, but as she slipped into the secured exhibit where her family's painting was kept, she wasn't alone. Layla stood there, gazing at the painting. Maya froze, heart pounding, unsure of how to proceed. Had Layla known she was coming? I knew someone would try to take it, Layla said without turning around, her voice calm. I just didn't think it would be you. Maya's stomach dropped. Layla E. Spare me the excuses, Layla interrupted, her tone sharper now. I've been tracking your movements for weeks. I should have known you had your eyes on this. Maya's pulse raced, but she couldn't look away from Layla. Even now, even after all the lies and the deceit, Layla's beauty and strength captivated her. It belongs to my family. I just want to give it back. Layla finally turned, her dark eyes locking onto Maya's. Is that the only reason? Or is there something else you're not telling me? Maya swallowed hard. You wouldn't understand. Try me, Layla challenged, stepping closer, her lips inches away from Maya's. I've spent weeks trying to figure out why someone like you would be interested in this. You're a mystery, Maya. But what I can't figure out is why I care. Maya's heart skipped a beat, torn between her mission and her feelings for Layla. Because... I didn't expect to feel this way about you. I've been alone for so long, but now I feel like I finally found someone who sees me." Layla searched her face, her expression softening. Then why lie to me? Why steal? Maya hesitated. Because it's the only thing I know. But I never wanted to hurt you. Layla's hand touched Maya's cheek gently. You hurt me by not trusting me, but it's not too late to change. Their lips met in a kiss that felt electric, charged with all the emotions they had been hiding. 
For a moment, time stopped, and nothing else mattered but each other. When they finally pulled apart, Layla's breath was ragged. What happens now? Layla asked, her fingers still tangled in Maya's hair. Maya closed her eyes, torn. I can't stop being who I am, Layla. But maybe for you, I could try. Layla smiled sadly. Then try. Don't run from this or from me. Maya leaned in for another kiss, her heart finally making the decision her mind had struggled with. She wasn't sure what the future held, but for the first time in her life, she wanted to stay. The heist could wait. Part 2. Love and Consequences Ira kissed Esther deeply, letting the warmth between them flare up again, but this time it felt heavier. Esther's hands ran along Ira's back, pulling her closer as if she feared losing her. But the weight of the situation settled in as their lips parted. We need to talk, Esther whispered, her voice shaky but resolute. Ira stepped back, nodding. I know. I'll answer anything. Just, don't hate me. Esther walked to the museum's grand window, staring out at the night. It's not about hate, Ira. It's about trust. I don't know if I can trust you. The words stung, but Ira knew they were deserved. She ran a hand through her natural dark hair, feeling the tension between them. I understand. I didn't expect you to trust me after what you found out. Esther turned, her eyes searching Ira's face. What was the plan, Ira? Were you going to steal from this place and disappear? No, Ira said quickly. I was going to take back what was mine, what was stolen from my family. I didn't plan on disappearing, and I definitely didn't plan on meeting you. Esther bit her lip, torn. So you really are this Robin Hood figure? Stealing back artifacts and treasures from corrupt collectors? It sounds romantic, but it's still illegal. It's not just romantic, Ira insisted, stepping forward. It's the only way I can make things right. My father's legacy was stolen from him by people who wanted to profit off his inventions, off his genius. I just want justice, Esther. And what happens to us in all this? Esther's voice was soft, but there was a tremor of fear and confusion in it. I want you in my life, Ira said, her voice gentle but firm. I didn't expect this connection. I didn't expect to fall for you, Esther. But I have, and I don't want to lose you. Esther turned back to the window, her reflection barely visible against the night sky. She sighed, feeling the pull between the world she knew and the world Ira belonged to. I can't be part of a life where you're constantly looking over your shoulder, Ira. I need something stable, something real. I can change, Ira said, the words almost foreign to her own ears. She had never considered stopping her heists, but for Esther, she would. Can you? Esther asked, finally turning to face her. Can you really walk away from this life? Ira hesitated. She didn't know if she could. The thrill of the chase, the sense of justice, the adrenaline, it had always defined her. But looking at Esther now, seeing the raw vulnerability in her eyes, Ira realized that maybe, just maybe, she wanted something different. I can try, Ira said, her voice soft but sincere. For you, I'll try. Esther crossed the room and cupped Ira's face in her hands. I believe you, Ira, but you have to promise me something. Anything, Ira breathed. If you ever plan to do another heist, you have to tell me. No secrets. I don't care if it's illegal, but I care if you hide it from me. I need to know everything. Ira nodded, her heart pounding. I promise, Esther. No more secrets. They stood there in the dimly lit museum, the tension between them finally giving way to something new, a sense of understanding, of trust cautiously rebuilt. As they embraced again, 
Ira knew that this was the beginning of something beautiful, something real. But deep down, she also knew that love, like everything else in her life, came with its own set of challenges. And this was only the beginning of the fight to keep it.